This video is sponsored by Squarespace, your one-stop shop for creating and managing your own online brand, but more about that later in the video. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to today's video. Listen, owning a plant shop, it's in mid-season for buying, loads of stuff comes into this shop at this time of year and I have another haul for you. A lot of this, I think 90% of this has just come in. I think there's one plant here that I can see that has been here maybe a month or more and you will have actually seen that on my Instagram. But I have an array of different things. There is lots of variegation in today's haul. So without further ado, we're just getting straight into it, but literally, my hair is clean today. It is that humid in here that it's going stringy and nasty. 80% humidity. I filmed an unboxing before this video and it was at 70%. It is already at 80% and it is climbing. Not only that, but it's 28 degrees as well. So I'm a little bit sweaty. Anyway, let's start with the haul. Now I have to show you this plant because this is the one that's been on my Instagram and it's attracted a little bit of attention, which I didn't expect. This here is, what is it? Homolomina rubescens variegated. And it's, oh God, it's such a cool plant. Literally, let me show you the stems first. Can you see that? I don't even really need to get quite close to the camera to see how good that is. Can you see that? Oh my goodness. So there is a bit of a pinky tone all over them, but obviously the variegation makes it super pink. So that's what you're actually seeing there. On a leaf without much variegation, i.e. this one, oh, there's only a patch or so, the uh, the petiole is kind of tinted a bit of a rhubarb color, but it's not full on like this one here. You can really see that. This is more like a Florida beauty type color. It has heart-shaped leaves, as you might be able to tell. Look at that. Can to hold that up because this is the best leaf. It is very, very new. It's not the newest, but it is very, very new. It's gorgeous. So the variegation comes in kind of a little bit similar to how a caramel marble comes in, in that it looks a bit pinky, a bit caramelly. So not quite as much brown tone, kind of like a pink version of that. And that's what you actually see here. This will turn into basically this. So if I show you this leaf up close, you can see what it actually turns into. So it is a cream. There's just a slight, slight pinky cast to that cream. Does this make any sense at all? I hope it does. So yeah, it doesn't fade full cream, but it may as well be. If you didn't really care much, you would say that was cream, but I can actually see a little bit of a pink sort of tint in it. Show you it one more time. Again, it really depends on the lights in here because I think it actually illustrates my point. Can you see what I mean? There's a little bit of a pink tinge in there, whereas that one, when it comes in brand new, you can see obviously it's significantly more pink. I do have a baby one of these that you might also have seen. He's just sat in a tray, so I'm not gonna get him out because there's stuff all over here, as you may be able to see. I'm getting quite full up, guys. I'm not gonna lie. That is him anyway. I have a couple of these. Not a philodendron. Remember, not a philodendron. This is Homolomina rubescens variegated. And honestly, easy care. I will say one thing. I haven't had this plant very long. I feel like about a month. It might be a little bit more. I'm not sure. But what I noticed when I picked it out of the tray today is that it is already giving me root vibes. Can you see that if I hold it in front of my shirt? There's some hairline roots near the bottom and then there's this big guy here. So he's actually doing really, really nicely. Very, very solid as well. Didn't take a punch after shipping. Those are all the original leaves right there. Really nice plants, really nice plants. I'd be interested in getting some more of these in because they're really, really pretty. Why is it so much more humid in here today than any other day? And I've had the doors open. It's not like there's more water in here. I don't understand what's going on. Anyway, oh my God, what I would not do to tie this up. <sighs> Anyway, let's push on. So the next plant I have to show you, I don't know how I feel about this. I want to let you decide how you feel about this because I bought it and I'm, mm, I don't know. I think I was expecting less of a creamy cast on this plant. This here is, I do believe, Epipremnum penatum full mint. If I show you this up close, I'm gonna have to put my hand over it at this point. Can you see the color of this? As I say, this is known as Epipremnum penatum full mint. Why does my camera see faces in all of my plants? It's so irritating. There he is. Can you see what I mean about the slight yellow tinge? Now that might just be because they're new, because I bought this in and it looks a little bit like that. I'll show you the older leaf. And it's growing fast, by the way. This is a fast plant. I'll show you that. See there, to be honest there, while they're all in the frame, you can see a big color difference, I think, in between them. So this is more like what I would hope for. Again, there is a little bit of a cast on it, but these two newer leaves aren't quite there. I'll tell you what I do find funny. These have fenestrations on them, these two leaves. This one doesn't. 
Make that make sense. Make that make sense. Very happy with these. Just really curious on color. Regardless of my opinions on mint, because I'm kind of like, hmm, I don't know. Still, these are taking off at the minute. A lot of mint stuff is taking off. And I'll be transparent with you. I've been getting in a lot of mint stuff in the shop because it seems to be getting more and more popular. And I can only, as a business, I can only really avoid it for so long before I have to engage with it. So there's a lot of mint stuff coming in, but this is something I wanted to try because these things do grow fast. So I guess if you wanted something mint and you need something faster growing, if you want to propagate it and sell it or whatever, this might be a good one. I'm eager to see how the color hardens and how it changes in my environment because I've had a few things in now in the last few weeks that come in from a supplier and they're a certain color but under my lights they get way better and way brighter. I have a few things that's happened with but I don't think I can show you right now because they're gonna... I'm not gonna be able to lift it. Do I have anything to show you my point? I do. I actually do. Give me one minute. Without dripping it everywhere, I'll not hold it too close to the camera, but can you see this at all? This here is Raphidophora tetrasperma variegated. This is the new leaf with me and it's very bright. This is the leaf from the supplier. Generally speaking, the variegation is popping through really bright and a lot of the plants I've had through are not doing that. Um, at least on their arrival, I'm noticing that quite a lot. Like I have one here as well. This one's taken a bit of a hit. Um, not a very good specimen, this one, I won't lie. This one here is coming out with me and it's already 10 times brighter than any of the variegation on the rest of the plant. Like if I show you this here, can you see this? And then you look at this. It's coming out a bit brighter under my conditions and I'm not really doing anything special. This plant, for the last few days by the way, has been sat in the middle of an aisle. So it gets lights all around, but it's just sat on the floor in one of these and it's already doing a lot better. So, hmm, I don't know. My point being though, I need to wait and see what happens with this because I want to know what the actual colour is. So I don't want to judge it prematurely. At the minute, I don't know what to think about it. I'll be honest, I don't know what I think. I don't know if I like it or not. If I saw a full plant of it and it was more on, you know, less of a yellow tone and it was more frosty, I might love it. But for now, I'm going to remain neutral. So let me know what you think about this. I can definitely say it's fast grower because this is with me, this leaf. I don't believe this one was. It definitely had this leaf. It definitely had this leaf, but I'm not sure how far out this one was. There you go. One more time. Can you see Epipremnum penatum full mint? Next up, I have a really cute one for you. This is another Monstera laniolata. I don't know what to think of this one. Again, this is another plant where I need to assess the color coming out with me. This is how it has arrived. There are no new leaves on here. The variegation is quite minty, quite frosty, but it's a little bit yellow toned. But I suspect, and I do suspect in this case, that it is going to go a lot more cooler toned. Because where are my laniolata? I've got some really weird ones growing. The ones I've got growing are much brighter. You see this? This is mine on the left. So that there is mine. It's growing much brighter than this. Do you see what I'm saying? We will see on this one as well, because I don't know if it's going to do the same thing that this is. Let me pop this back. This is actually quite difficult. I don't know why I'm wrecking my own shop. If you're looking for an easy way to build and run your own website, then look no further than Squarespace. Squarespace is your one-stop shop to create your own website from the ground up using a selection of stylish and super customizable templates. It's so quick and easy to edit any one of these templates and make it your own. You can even have multiple websites under one account. For example, here is the website for my shop, but I also have a new one here that I created from a template. This way I can switch between whatever I'm working on really easily and I can create and manage new websites so much more efficiently. If you want to create a really sleek looking website either for yourself or perhaps you're setting up a web shop like mine, check out squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's it for voiceover Kaylee, back to the video. This is definitely the larger specimen I have because those propagations there are all the same size. I have a few of those that are taking off and they grow really well. This is exactly what I'm talking about, about the colors on these things. It's just arriving different to when it's grown with me. And I know that might seem like an obvious statement, but it's happening more than ever. And I don't know why. It can't be feed, can it? It can't be. No, it can't be. That's just ridiculous. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We will see. Probably neutral again. Okay, this, oh, this guy's damaged an ear. That's really sad. So this next guy, I do own one. I think I have maybe two of him. 
but I got a good deal on this one so I thought I'd pick up a third so I don't really need it but it helps to have a bit of a larger one because I do want to grow onto maturity anyway but I bought another philodendron longello bottom leano miano and this is what he looks like now this is what I meant by a damaged ear can you see that but it's so sad I'll show you what it looks like here this has been in my spiritus dupes video before I featured it here and there and honestly not enough people talk about these I don't know why I think this is absolutely awesome if you like golden dragon narrow form if you like bipenifolium if you like jerry horn it's all kind of the same shit basically it's all in the same variety but for some reason no one talks about these they do have a bit of a price tag on them maybe that's why to be honest maybe that's why maybe things like a jerry horn are easier to get they do grow entirely differently for example this one oh my god the extra floras on this are ridiculous they grow very very close together the internodal spacing is very very small can i pull this off this caterpillar let's do my head in there we go. So in a lot of ways, you can get a lot out of it for longer because it's more compact. A jerry horn, for example, the internodes are bigger, so it's going to look a bit different. But I really, really like this. I'm going to show you up close because, again, beautiful. Did I need another one? Not really, no. Not really, no. But as I said, I got a good deal on it. So honestly, guys, if you don't know what this plant is, I implore you to Google it and see how awesome they get because they get really, really good. If you're a fan of Spiritus Sancti, you might like this a lot. This just grows amazingly. So I'm not going to linger on him because I know you guys have seen him before. But he is, he's definitely bigger than the one I've been growing for ages. I don't think these are the quickest growers, guys. I've got cuttings I've taken of another one, actually, and they are very slow. They are very, very slow. I'm happy to have this one. I'm sure it's going to grow just as slow. Philodendron longolobatum leano miano. I hope that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Right then, this, for some reason, this guy looks a little bit sorry for himself, but it's just, it's just who he is, right? There's nothing wrong with him. He's just a bit, I don't know, he's just a bit deformed looking, but he's fine. I have a couple more of these. You've seen this plant before, but arguably this one's a little bit more impressive than the previous plant I had. The previous plant I had, just the variegation just wasn't really up to par for me. So I actually sold that on and I invested in some more. And it's a very popular plant and I get why. I have the old green version growing upstairs in the studio and literally in about three months after feeding it, it's grown about three meters. I have to actually cut it. And that's not an exaggeration either, by the way. Literally, it's ridiculous. So, what am I talking about? I'm talking about philodendron micans, except of course, I'm talking about the variegated micans. So yeah, as I said, I have a few of these, but this is the one I picked up to show you. Do I have another one? I have a cute one down here as well, actually. Give me a minute. Just for full transparency, because I know y'all like to see these things. There's one. Let me hold that up. Oh, doesn't that look pretty? Oh. And then I have a high variegate here, which is a kind of growing a bit funky you see what I mean? It's kind of curling itself around. I don't think the light's too much, although it could be, couldn't it? Come on, focus. There we go. Really, really pretty. If you look here, he's got some growth coming in. I've had him a little while and I have been growing them out. This is new. I haven't had this a while. This one looks like it's easier to show you just because it's in the glass and it doesn't flop around. And for some reason, the camera likes this a lot more. For whatever purpose, that is quite nice, is it not? Really popular plant at the minute, so I'm propagating it obviously. I love the green version and arguably in a lot of ways I like the green version even more. I think it's a great plant. It's so easy. The all green version is in garden centers. A lot of you probably know this already. Variegated versions therefore are probably going to grow quite well. Never say never. That's not a rule for everything but I don't have any worries about the growth of this plant because personally in these conditions the all green version grows literally too quickly too quickly so i'm hoping to get quite a good yield out of these we'll see what happens with the variegation i'm not entirely sure how stable they are we will find out but how cute are they so that is variegated philodendron micans and they are so cute so cute the next plant i have to tell you about that i've hauled might remind you of another plant that i hauled i don't know 2019 maybe late on in the year i can't remember let me tell you what i'm talking about so way back when i bought a philodendron varicosum that was variegated with like it was almost like a, a constellation shrapnel kind of variegation and i said like mm, it's variegated i don't know but i went i went under the assumption essentially that it was variegated and it turns out it wasn't it turns out it was a virus i may have done that again but i've done that kind of knowingly 
I know, I know what you're thinking, you're probably thinking I'm nuts, but I thought, you know what, I just want to see what's going on with this plant, and I thought we could all learn something, if that's the case. At some point, I will have to test it. If I was ever going to sell this plant, I would have to test it, of course. Like, the same way that I did, it's actually over here, the variegated plant many eye from ages ago that I tested. I would be doing the same thing, and I'm happy to do that on camera or whatever, if, if it gets to that. Because I don't really know if I like it, like... I don't know. I'm going to show you anyway. So this is Anthurium crystallinum, except it's a bit different, you feel me? He didn't ship brilliantly, so he needs a spray and a bit of a, a watchful eye over him. But I'm going to show you him. And honestly, guys, if you see this plant and you think, Jesus Christ, that's ill, that's absolutely fine. I'm not going to be offended because I'm curious myself. So I'm going to keep it away from everything and I want to see how it grows. The new leaf on it is... I mean, you can see it's not growing quite right. It's coming in with weird colors on it, but I just want to see how that hardens off. So I will show you the plant now. Right. It is this, right? And it, to be fair, it's got some lovely, um, in terms of the silver, it's got some lovely markings on it. But it's just, like, is it a deficiency? I don't even know what this is. It's not pests. I can tell you now it's definitely not pests because the back of the leaf is absolutely fine. I'm going to show you close up what I am talking about. Hang on, let me just... I've actually got a stool down here in front of me that you can't see that helps me out. I'm going to sit on it because I've got a very bad back. And I will show you what I'm talking about. Can you see what I mean? And I know you're probably thinking, well, Kayla, that's spider mites. It's not. It's not. I know what spider mites looks like. This is not it. It's different and I don't understand why. It's very consistent in it being weird. Do you know what I'm saying? If I lift this up, can you see this one here? I'll get it as close as I can to the camera right there. Can it go any closer? Right, if I get any closer, it's not going to focus for you. Do you see what I mean? Like, what is that? If it is a pest in the leaves, I promise you, I promise you, the backs of the leaves look absolutely fine. Like, it looks fine, guys. It's not... <sighs> it won't focus. It doesn't look like anything. The back of this is immaculate too. So this is the new leaf, okay? This is the new leaf. And already I can see it's not... It doesn't look the way a normal crystal does. I'll show you that, of course, as well. Do you see what I mean? It, it is kind of like mosaic-y. But it, do, do you feel me here? Do you think I've lost it? Because if you do, that's okay. You can tell me and I will get annoyed. I, I don't know what the fuck this is. I don't understand it. Why is it doing that? I can't tell. I'm looking at this now really closely in the light. I'm trying to be able to tell if these dusty bits are the same tone, colour, whatever, as the silver in the veins. Because if it was, that would make a lot of sense and maybe it obviously isn't viral. But looking at this, I genuinely cannot tell I'm in two minds. I can see some of it actually on this leaf here, which I will show you in a second up close. Some of it looks like it is the same tone and then some of it doesn't. I, uh, I fucking do not know. You tell me what you think of that. See if I can get any closer. Literally, let me know in the comments what you think. We are going to watch it, we are going to quarantine it. And if it is a virus or whatever, of course it will be tested. I can't really test for pests, I'll just have to take your best guess. I can't work it out, but the back of the leaf looks fine. It doesn't look eaten, it doesn't look like anything. Which would lean more towards a virus than a pest, if it's not just weird variegation, right? Like, can you tell I'm really confused? This is my point. It's only just come in this morning, by the way, so I haven't had any time to look anything up, compare it, see if it correlates in any way, but it's just fucking weird. Obviously, there's a little bit of shipping, you know, damage or whatever, but like, like, what is it, guys? What is it? What is it? What is that? Because this has some squigglies on, and then the rest of the leaves don't. Because the squigglies made me think, oh, it's like some kind of mite in the leaf. But the rest of the leaves don't have that. It's only that bottom one that does. God, I don't know. I just don't know. Let me know what you think. We're just going to watch it. We're just going to watch it and see. I have no expectations at all. I'll let this harden off a bit. And I would like to get one to two more leaves out in my care. And then we will evaluate it. We might cut a bit off it and then do a viral test and see. And then we can eliminate a virus anyway without having to speculate. Answers in the comments as to what the hell you think this is. And I'm sure I can Google some of your suggestions if you say like, oh, you know, it's this mite, it's this whatever, whatever. But please don't worry. It's going to be totally separate from the rest of the plants. So we will leave him here. Let's put him down here on his own like such. And he can just chill there. He can just chill there till we figure it out. Right, what else have I got for you today? 
Do you remember a beautiful banana plant that I bought, I guess in 2020, maybe 2021, not entirely sure, beautiful, beautiful plant, and I grew it, and everyone was like, oh my god, how are you growing this plant? And I was like, I don't know, I don't know, it's just growing, it's just growing, I don't want to touch it. Well, I it, it died, what I'm alluding to is it died, I think pretty much everyone knows it died. What I think happened was it got underwatered in the studio, way too underwatered, to the point where the roots just went and then I watered it again, then it all rotted. The whole thing went. And I've recently decided, you know what? We're gonna do it again. I have three bananas, okay? I have two over there that are potted up in water and everything, and I've separated one out, which I don't think you can actually see in this video. No, it's just off shot. I'm gonna pick it up now. I'm gonna put it in a pot so I can show you without dripping all over me. And I'm gonna show you it. It hasn't traveled amazingly, I wouldn't say. It's actually yellowing really quick, so it is what it is. There wasn't really any roots on the comb, so I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this. I'll put him down like this for starters, and then we will try and evaluate him, and I will pick him up properly. But at the minute, he is in pure koi, I can't say it, koi husk. So it kind of looks like this, almost looks like bark, will it focus? Literally, that is all he's in at the minute. They haven't done very well in liquor previously at all. It did all right in soil, in like an aroid mix. It was nowhere near chunky enough. So for now, anyway, while they were here, the only thing I had was pure coir. So I put them in that, and they're already taking a big dive, which I did expect. It's a variegated banana. It's Musa Florida, this one. I will tip it down and show you. So you can see the good bits look really good. We like this. We like this a lot. Look at that. Oh boy. They look really nice. I think this could be the biggest one. Yeah, I think it is. I didn't purposely pick the biggest one, but hey ho, here we are. I tilt it. Let's tilt it and stand back a bit. There you go. It's quite large. If I place it next to my feet, it comes up to here like that. So my waist, I'm five foot four. So it's, it's not super tall. The new leaf, I don't know if you can see it there, is coming out quite fast actually. So I'm quite pleased about that. So that's kind of him. And I decided I'm going to try and grow them. Now I think I'm going to keep them in something like this for a while because I don't see this keeping moisture too much. I believe they need things to be dry. I'm not going to heat mat it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it in here because it's quite warm in here. Hopefully nothing bad will happen. I do expect this is going to continue a little bit. We're probably going to be down to like maybe these two leaves and just the new leaves that come out that are here if I hold this further down so you can see. I'm not too worried. These do cost a little bit, but I'm not too worried. We're going to give it a damn good go and see. Now, very quickly, I think it's the only thing I do know how to tell is the difference between this and I don't know how you pronounce it, Musa II, so A-E, A-E names on the screen. The difference being that I think they look identical, except Musa Florida is, it has pink here. Can you see this? Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Can you see any pink? Yeah, you kind of can there. Right here, there's a pink trim running down and the leaf margins, which you probably definitely can't see on the plant, they are pink as well. That's basically the difference, I think. I'm not sure that it matters which one you get if you want one. I know they're very tough to get in the US, but I'm very excited and this this is him. He is one of three. I'm not gonna show you the other three because it's three of the same plant, really. I'm thinking I'm gonna put them in the same substrate and just, you know, and just go for it and just hopefully they don't die. If they do die, I might try one more time. I don't think I've got it in me to try any more than that. I think that's ridiculous, but. How nice is he? Ooh. I kind of want one in my kitchen, guys, in my house. You haven't seen my house yet, obviously. My house has not been built yet. But basically, the kitchen has a ton of skylights in it. So it's basically a light box. And I think this banana might just grow quite well in it. So we will see. We will see how well they grow anyway. But that is him. I'm going to put him back. Last plant in the hole. And this one is very, very, very pretty. I do own this plant, but... I... I I just wanted another one. I, I can't I can't give you weird excuses as to why I do these things. I just wanted another one. I liked him. I thought he was hot. Can you see him here? You probably can. He's been sat here the whole time. He's that large. I'm going to pick him up. I'm going to put him in this same pot that I had the banana in so I can actually hold it without it pissing on me. And I'm going to show you him because he is so good. Oh my god, he is so pretty. Have you seen this guy? Have you seen this guy? I hope he doesn't get me on my mic. Check this out. Oh my God, that is a thumbnail, is it not? How beautiful is this boy? Just so you know how big he is, that's how big he is. 
He is a Monstera Aurea large form. Now, very briefly, the difference between large and small are quite simple. The large form gets to be this large, small form tends not to. It can only reach a maximum size, and it is certainly nowhere near the size that a large form can reach. For example, small form, it's pushing it really to get a leaf that is this big here on a small form. I don't think it can happen. It's not completely impossible for small form to get the holes as well as the fenestrations, but it tends not to happen. It's not impossible, but it tends not to happen. With large form, it happens very early on. Very early on in the leaf, you'll start getting holes. It grows slightly differently, I guess. It doesn't really vine. It grows a little bit more like a tree when it gets mature, so you've got to have some space for these things, guys. I love it so much, and if you could see the stems right now, you would die. Let me just try and Rotate that. Can you see the variegation on those stems? Oh, can you see why I had to purchase this plant? Literally. Tell you what, I'm going to move this stool back like that. There we go. Why didn't I do this before? That was stupid, wasn't it? There. Oh my God. Now I can twirl him around and show you him properly. Why didn't I do this before? This is so much easier. Oh my God. I don't even have to lift it up anymore. So yeah, he has this leaf here. Again, absolutely massive. But the thing is, and I put this on my Instagram the other day, so if you're thinking this is familiar, it is. I put a picture of this on my Instagram the other day. I think it's still there. I think it was a proper post. It is Aurea, but it does weird shit. I don't know if you can tell here. This leaf, it, does it look yellow? Not really. This leaf almost behaves a bit more like how Florida Beauty behave. Philodendron Florida Beauty, which actually I have here, but I don't know if I've got one creamy enough. These aren't entirely creamy. Right, I'm not going to be able to get one out. But my point is, it's very, very cream for an Aurea. And there are parts here as well that grow really, really cream. Is it every leaf? Not necessarily, no. But this leaf here has definitely done it, which intrigues me quite a lot because here's your yellow back here, right? That's yellow. That ain't. That definitely is not. It's really, really odd. So I quite like him. Not why I bought him. I bought him because he was large and in charge. You know, I've got a problem with large plants. Like it is a problem, literally. He's very, very gorgeous though. And as I say, this is full of variegation. So I'm really happy. Now it's quite sad that this here has torn two shreds. This is, I believe the newest leaf. That's a real shame. So we're just gonna have to wait for something to grow out of this. I probably will cut him, by the way. Might wait for him to get a few more um, roots, but I might just have to cut him. Can I rotate him so you see him this way as well? You see this one, sort of? He's very pretty, isn't he? Like he is very, very pretty plant. Of course we have this one up here as well, which, on camera, does look a bit on the creamy side. This is the thing, he just doesn't look quite yellow to me. I'm not saying he isn't yellow, I'm saying he is, but he just looks a little bit different, right? How nice is he? How beautiful is this plant? Oh my God, what a shame, what a shame. Look at that. Oh. I think it's been cut as well, you know, I think it's probably been torn and then they've just had to cut it, but it obviously had decent variegation on it because that is basically all variegation. Naturally, I have high hopes for this. I haven't decided what to grow in my home. I would love, 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 love a large form Monstera in my home when I move. Now, so far, I think I have three options. I have the Aurea, I have the all green form, and I have a tie. And I cannot decide which one I want. I don't think I want a tie, but I might want an Aurea. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think I should go for in my house, whether I should go for the all green large form, whether I should do something like this, or whether I should do a tie, because I'm not sure. I could do the Monstera Mint, which, oh my gosh, you can see it. Literally, it's hard to do this backwards. Right there, can you see that? That's the Monstera Mint. I don't think he's large form though. I think he's, he's a vining form, which is still fine. Maybe I could do that. But let me know, because I'm genuinely kind of unsure on which one I want to go for. I don't know. My color scheme, if it matters, is extremely neutral. Like gray, beige, grayish, off-whites, tiniest, tiniest bit of maybe like a duck egg color here and there. Like it's very, very, very neutral and it's definitely on the cooler side. So maybe this would look a bit shit. I don't know. Maybe the mint would look great, therefore. I don't know. You tell me what you think and any other comments on any other items in this haul. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. It really helps me out. And if you are not already subscribed, I would absolutely adore it if you could do so. That's it for this week's haul. I'm going to go because it is, it's still the same. Oh no, we're now at 29 degrees. We've actually raised a degree in temperature since I've been filming. So I'm going to go. I'm going to get the hell out of here and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.